It's a unique way of dealing with the foreclosure crisis. The biggest mortgage servicer in the country has a new tool to dispose of its worst properties. You ready for this? A bulldozer. That's right. Kelly Carlin is in Cleveland with this story. Kelly, I can't believe it, but you're saying it's the truth. It's hard to believe that, Emil, you know, but abandoned homes like this one behind me are rampant in Cleveland. In fact, half of the homes on this street are vacant. They're a nuisance to the neighborhood and a headache for the banks that own them. So, yes, there is a dramatic different new solution to get rid of some of them. Bank lenders like Bank of America have a new tactic for wiping foreclosed homes off the books. <laughs> Literally taking them out. There are more than a million and a half U.S. homes in foreclosure. This house came from uh, Bank of America, and the fate of this house is the wrecking ball. It'll be demolished. It'll be demolished. Gus Frangos is president of the Cuyahoga Land Reutilization Corporation. His organization works with the banks, homeowners, and the local government. He says Bank of America could only get $1,000 for this house because it's condemned condition. Instead, the bank is donating the house and paying $7,500 for its demolition. Otherwise, it keeps costing them money with no foreseeable revenue. To keep them on the balance sheet costs them in terms of maintenance and taxes. The most cost effective option is to uh, donate them to the local communities and, and generate a little goodwill while doing so. Once a house is cleared, it's worth more to the neighborhood. If a vacant and abandoned blighted home corrupts the comparable values on the street from anywhere between 30 to 60 percent of their value. So if you can eliminate that blighting influence, you stabilize and you preserve the value that's already there. The empty lots are being transformed into community gardens and parks or rezoned for new development. Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan, Fannie and HUD have already been donating homes in Cleveland and there are 30,000 additional structures that need to be demolished. Meanwhile, Bank of America owned homes in Chicago and Detroit face the same fate with similar plans for 10 other cities by the end of the year. But HUD secretary says demolition is not always a solution. It has to be targeted. It has to really be tailored to what's happening in that local housing market. And Adam, this home behind me is slated to be demolished in just 40 minutes from now. And while it may have taken months to build, the whole process of leveling it is less than an hour.